Hey guys, welcome to the Liberal Hive Mind, a channel solely focused on exposing the abundant hypocrisy of the left. Ah, Bill Maher. Here we go again with Bill Maher. You know, he'll say something that borders on insane sometimes and people want to crucify him, whether it be leftists or people on the right as well, of course, depending on the opinion. And of course, sometimes I find he makes some trash points or he says some stuff that's quite outrageous, but I still like the guy. You know, if Bill Maher was the typical liberal, I'd argue it'd be a huge upgrade over the current version or the current model. I still like the guy and more importantly i respect bill maher but holy moly has donald trump broken him you know i think it's very clear that it's personal bill maher usually is fair but the moment you involve donald trump he becomes a raving lunatic all facts all common sense all basic ability to reason goes completely out the window and it's nothing but ad hominem attacks unhinged emotional nonsense rhetoric and boy oh boy was that clearly evident during his interactions with joe rogan on the joe rogan podcast a couple days ago let me show you guys some of those moments and then of course let's talk about him we got some stuff to get into so let's roll the tape all right folks so it started like this. Goes along yeah. with all the woke nonsense because he doesn't want to fight that wing of his party. He can't afford to have a battle on the left. Yeah. So that's my big issue with him. I know you have others. Well, my, my biggest issue is he lies a lot and he's probably... Well, certainly not more than Trump. Uh, oh, please. Come on, Well, man. listen, I think they both lie. I mean, I don't like but, but, that okay. more than this guy, because I want to just, if you want to talk about Trump, we could talk about Trump, but if you just talk about Biden, I don't think comparing him to Trump does anybody any good. You just look at the well, Burisma situation. Well, it situation. does, because they're running against each yeah, other. Yeah, okay. So, so it's kind well, of necessary. It could, it could when, if you want to talk about in terms of an election, but you talk about the terms of the guy well, who's in office right now, like, why don't I like him? Well, one of the things that I don't like has nothing to do with any of his choices is that he's mentally compromised. I think there's something wrong, and I think it's clear. <laughs> As if the other guy isn't. Well, okay, he speaks much clearer. He he, he might be crazy, Spe he might be a he sociopath. He is crazy. Okay. He's crazy and stupid. Say all those things. Obviously, that's a pretty big concern, you know? There's actually polls currently showing that up to 75% of American voters view Biden as being too old to be effective if reelected. I mean, there's endless evidence that Joe Biden's brain no working no more. And what's Bill Maher's reaction? Oh, well, w what about Trump? Trump is also stupid and incompetent. I mean, just come on. Basic common sense, please. You know, you can tell it's personal and it's just an ad hominem attack. It's Trump derangement syndrome. Donald Trump is stupid. That statement is obviously laughable. You know, Donald Trump inherited a tremendous amount of wealth. No one's going to deny that. But wealth in the hands of stupid individuals doesn't go very far. You know, I know some people who have inherited incredible wealth in their life. They've done nothing with it. For the most part, it breeds laziness and entitlement. Trump took it and he ran with it. And he ballooned it. And people say Donald Trump's a failed businessman. Trump has made some incredible deals in his time. Mar-a-Lago is one of them. He's a shrewd, aggressive businessman. And I'd say it's quite obvious that he's far from stupid or incompetent. You don't get to be basically the number one rated guy in reality TV for a very long period of time by being stupid. It's such a bogus, weak argument. And Bill Maher just presents these ideas without being able to actually back them up. You know, Joe Rogan and says that Joe Biden lies, and Bill Maher, of course, totally affected by his Trump derangement syndrome, immediately reacts, well, oh, Donald Trump's the biggest liar. Again, I mean, really? Joe Biden hasn't said a true thing since launching his campaign. In fact, his entire policy platform was nothing but lies. He got elected on lies. The idea that Donald Trump is a bigger liar than Joe Biden, again, I think is laughable. Joe Biden's entire existence is nothing but lies. All of his stories, his academic record, his path through the world of academia has been nothing but lies. In fact, a headline popped up just the other day. Let me see if I could find it here. Here it is. Harvard attorney who reviewed Biden article was shocked by the plagiarism that he discovered. Joe Biden plagiarized his way through school. That is a documented fact. He's plagiarized speeches. He lies about literally everything. I mean, he's arguably a con man, yet they point the finger at Donald Trump and claim that Trump's the con man. He's the liar, even though Trump keeps getting in trouble for telling the truth too much. Because obviously the establishment doesn't like that very much. They're most powerful when they're covered by the shade of propaganda. I mean, most of the fact checks targeting perceived Donald Trump lies are in fact lies themselves. That's the irony here. Anyways, we're probably like 60 to 75 percent through the video at this point you know in terms of the general 
length that I like to make these videos. So let's very quickly try to get to the second part here. Again, there's kind of a trend here. You know, your Trump derangement syndrome shows when you're just talking, just saying things, big assumptions and big claims, but you can't seem to explain in clear detail why your statement's correct or why you believe it. He's charged with actual crimes, criminal intent to obscure, uh, to, 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 I forget what the actual name of the uh, law is, but criminal intent to basically steal the election or to coerce people in the states from, uh, I forget what it is. And then there's there's one uh, forgery, uh, which is has to do with the elector's scheme, uh, criminal intent for... What for is the forgery? That's, that's the slate of electors he was putting forward, the fake slate of electors. Um, and then there was um, the one... Of, but basically, I mean, yes, he tried every possible way to steal this election. He tried to do it through the courts. He tried to do it through state legislatures. He tried to do it through intimidating Mike Pence. He tried to do it through the Justice Department. They talked about seizing voting machines. They talked about the using the army. I mean, you can't really believe that this guy is not worse than Joe Biden. I mean, I agree. Biden is not a great president. And the Hunter Biden stuff is a stinky conspiracy, not a conspiracy, a stinky scandal that stinks to the high heavens. If you think that that in any way compares to what Trump tried to do, you just cannot tell unlike things apart. You know, Bill Maher is trying, but he's clearly no lawyer. He has no ability to actually explain what laws that Donald Trump broke. He'll just say stuff like, oh, fake electors, which, yeah, you know, we've heard from these leftists a million times before, but nobody's presenting evidence of what Donald Trump did exactly, what the supposed scheme was, or why it's illegal in the first place. They're just saying, hey, Trump tried to do a thing through the courts, through Mike Pence, or through the elector system because he believed a certain thing. We believe that thing is wrong and therefore he's guilty. You know, it's just not entirely convincing, but they'll say it with such confidence. Trump is a criminal because, you know, uh, read the indictment. The charges, they sound real serious. Ooh, fake electors. Yeah, that's not a legal argument. That is Trump derangement syndrome. An honest analysis or I guess stance would be, yeah, I'll wait to see the evidence be presented and then I'll give you my opinion on this whole fake electors thing. That's what I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for Fannie Willis to present her evidence and then we'll analyze from there. But Bill Maher obviously has let his emotions, his personal feelings, his personal vendetta get the best of him. And on this issue, literally anything related to Donald Trump, he sounds like a complete deranged lunatic. I don't think that's an unfair statement. I don't think it's an exaggeration. I think it's simply a statement of fact. It's my observation. I like the guy and I give him credit where credit is due, but on this Trump thing, it's really not a good look. When we can do a flashback moment like this, economy is going pretty well. I feel like the bottom has to fall out at some point. And by the way, I'm hoping for it because I think one way you get rid of Trump is a crashing economy. So please bring on the recession. When you've said something like that in the past, when you're that biased, when it's that personal, yeah, sorry, not sorry. Any of your opinions on the topic are immediately disregarded. Anyways, that's what I got for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and possibly subscribe to the channel. You know that we'd love to have you here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.